We'll now go over sculpting the nose and the ear. We'll start by shaping the profile of the nose from the side. Select the Move brush and pull the nose to the correct shape. We'll also shape the nose from the front view. To create the wings of the nose, hold down Control and mask out a small circle on the side. Tap inside the middle of the mask to soften it. Control click on the canvas to invert the mask. With the inflate brush, give volume to the sides of the nose. With the dam standard brush, define the edge of the nose and make a small line describing the nasolabial fold. With a young character, make sure you smooth this out really good or they'll look old. Hold down Control and make a small mask where the nostrils go. Control click on the canvas to invert the mask and use the inflate brush to make a slight nostril. Dynamesh the object and smooth out the nostrils. Use the move brush to shape the nose. Be sure to look at it from the side and also the front. We'll now start sculpting the ear. I'll leave up this diagram to help us out. The ear is composed of three major parts and a couple of details. We'll need a little bit more detail for this mesh, so pull your Dynamesh slider up to about 200. We'll start with the helix. Hold down Control and draw a mask where the helix will go. Control tap on the mask to soften it. Use the Move brush to pull the helix out from the base of the ear. Use Dynamesh and smooth out the area. Use the Inflate brush to give some volume to the helix. Mask out a small area where the lobe will be, invert the mask, and use the Move and Inflate brush to create the ear lobe. Use the Dam Standard brush to define the edge of the helix. Create another mask where the ear hole will go, invert the mask, use the inflate brush, and hold down Alt to create the hole. With the damn standard brush, define the front of the ear and also the edge of the helix. Hold down Control and mask out the area where the helix curves over. Soften and invert the mask. Hold down Alt and use the Inflate brush to create the edge of the helix. Hold down Shift and smooth out the inner part of the ear. Mask out the area where the antihelix will go. Use the inflate brush to give the antihelix some volume.
hold down Alt, and with the inflate brush, create that little notch up at the top. Use the Move brush to pull out the tragus and the anti-tragus. Feel free to dynamesh your object at any time that you have a major change in form. Now use the Move brush to shape the ear, and the Dam Standard brush to pull out any details. I've noticed I've made my ear a little big, so I can use the Move Brush to resize it. 